really loved your character, the way he supported these three women, these three amazing women. In real life, how good are you at stepping, you know, taking a step back and letting women shine? Yeah. Well, I, I like to think that um, I know, generally know who the smartest person <laughs> in the room is. And when I sense who that is, I make sure that they have their room to shine. And, and I think in a room where often people want to know what I think, I found that if I can be quiet long enough, I can, I can, um, I can figure out what really is going on. And, and, uh, and, and I think oftentimes people that are, there's people that actually have a lot to um, offer, but you have to create room for them. You have to create an environment for them to succeed. And so I think I've kind of understood that really early in my life. And um, some of the fiercest people I know are women. Mm -hmm. Do you think the celebration of women, of these three women, but also women in general, is overdue? Yeah, we, uh, we needed them. There was a moment in time where not a single person could answer this question except this one little girl. Mm -hmm. And people made room for her in her life. Even though it was a struggle all along her life, people were making room and sacrifice for her that at a critical moment in the, in the history of that program, this person was there. So we can be embarrassed about why it took so long, but we can also be thrilled that she broke through. Mm -hmm. And there was people that helped that along the way. We can be, and be embarrassed that we haven't known about this story earlier, or we can celebrate the fact that it's been brought to film now. When I was watching the movie, speaking of that little girl, when I was watching the movie, I felt so utterly uneducated watching all these math equations and all these things. How was it on the set? Well, Did that's a gift that you can't be embarrassed by that. Neither can I. All we can do is want, sense that someone has this thing and let the cream get to the top. Move her to the top regardless of her, that she's a woman, regardless of her race. We need to, when people of obvious talent, when it can be seen, we need to support that. We don't need to mm -hmm. hold that back. Uh, so I actually like that there's somebody in here that knows math. I don't want to like try to be more important and I go, this is the person we go to when we have a math problem. Does anybody have a problem with that? No. Mm -hmm. And it should be like that. Everybody should celebrate that. I, I tell you what, if the lights go out right now, there's three guys in here that are going to be better <laughs> at fixing that than me. Or what me. could I do? I, what I could do is I could pick something up for them. Mm -hmm. And you have to know what you're able to do in each room that you're in. Mm -hmm. Space. Are you fascinated by it? I guess to a certain extent I am. I just don't know how it can relate to my life right now except for a big asteroid coming here and fucking everything up. You know, and, and, you know, and hope that the smart guys and the smart girls, that's when everybody doesn't care about race, when everything is on the line. It's like when you see guys in a foxhole together, they don't care if you went to your rival college. You don't, they don't care if you came from a different country. What they care about is that they're shoulder to shoulder with you trying to fight, mm -hmm. trying to preserve your way of life. And the quickest way to level the playing ground is when this world is in the balance. And the problem is the world doesn't realize how close it is to, to being out of balance right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody senses it, but I don't think people realize how close it is for everything to be completely fucked up. So your gift is not math, your gift is not the light. What would you say is your greatest gift? I'm sorry? What is your greatest gift in life? Um, I'm, I don't know, maybe that I'm, uh, my love of people is so great that I'm not jealous of somebody who's smarter than me, who's, who's more handsome than me, who's richer than me. I actually, uh, I think maybe the greatest gift that I have right now is that I don't covet anything of anybody else's. I love, I have my family, I have my career, and if I choose to change it tomorrow, I can. It's a beautiful gift. Thank you so much. You're